Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today let's talk about labels and their translations in multi-language projects. So in a typical filament resource form, you would have something like this, text input and text area. And if you don't provide the labels, then filament will try to auto guess them for you from the name. And first thing you can do is customize the labels. So this video, by the way, will be kind of three in one progressive step tip, create the labels and what you can do with them. So first you can override the labels. So if we, for example, override that with post title or post text and refresh the page, we have this. So this is how you can customize the labels in forms, similarly in tables. But let's roll back and let's talk about multi-language projects. If you work with international projects or you have a possibility of that project to become international in near future, I advise, and that's a general advice for Laravel, not only Filament or Livewire, always put the text with this Laravel helper method, two underscores. Even if you don't have translations for now, when there's time to get to those translations, future developers, which may be yourself, will thank you for that change. Visually, nothing really changes title and text. So if there is no translation for any other language, then the fallback is English. Of course, it depends on your configuration. The configuration is in Laravel in config app file with default and fallback languages. Now, in my case, I do have translations and I do have a plugin called language switch installed. So on the top right side, I can switch between English and my own Lithuanian language. So if I switch to Lithuanian, as you can see, the translations are here for title and text. If we don't use those underscores, let's roll it back, then other parts of the sites will be in Lithuanian language, but those labels won't be. So that's why you should use double underscores for any international project. And by the way, those translations come from Lang folder. So I have Lithuanian translations for general phrases of filament. And also there's a separate LT JSON with these texts related to specific resources. Now there's one more trick. Instead of providing label and uppercase text of the same name, which is kind of the same, just camel case here, you can use a helper of filament called translate label. So you don't need to provide any parameter, then what filament will do, pick the name and try to find the translation of the label under that name. So we use translate label here and translate label here. We refresh the page and it is found, the Lithuanian translations are found, although we didn't specify them with underscore helper. So yeah, a few quick tips, three in one, in a short video with labels and multi-language. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.